morning. This is Linda's Crafty Life. Today I'm unboxing a Diamond Art Club kit. It's called, can you see it? Christmas Deer. And it is by Chuck Pinson. I'm uh, going to be doing this one for like the Jingle Drills, I believe it is. It's a little bit late, but uh, I work full time. So it's like the first day I've had off. So I'm going to unbox this so you can see uh, how this kit looks. I already uh, opened the plastic wrap, so you didn't have to see me struggle with it. So again, this is uh, Christmas Deer. See it? There you go. And it is, when you see the square here, that means it is a square drill canvas. So whenever you see this square, it's in a blue, it's a square. And also you see this blue strip right here. That is indicating that it is a square drill canvas. And the details are on the sticker on the front. And it says, Christmas Deer by Chuck Pinson. And the diamond shape is square. And uh, it is 29 by 22, which is 74 centimeters by 56 centimeters. All right, let's get into this. Also, if you've never seen Diamond Art Club's box, they have a little instruction on the back for anybody who's new to diamond painting. It has a little step-by-step -step guide, shows you what's in the kit. Let's get into this. I always joke that these things must be childproof. All right. First, let's look at what's in this kit. Some toolkits are being uh, updated with Diamond Art Club, but I this one is an older kit. So uh, coming, uh, the newer ones, you might see newer items in their kits. I don't have the newer one, but as soon as I do, I'll be happy to show you what comes in them. So you get, you get a sticker. You can put this in your log book if you have a log book, or you can keep it, you know, on the side of the box if you store it in the closet. You want to be able to see what the painting is on the side of the box. Uh, I don't really use them. I keep them. I, I just like collecting stickers. I don't like using them, but I like them because I can look back and see how many I completed at, at a glance. It's a, it's a nice sticker. And then uh, here we go. It comes with a multi-placer. This is a four-placer. If you're new to diamond painting, this means that you could place four diamond drills at a time on the kit. So it's good for color blocking. I don't think, actually, is it a, yeah, it is a, it is a four. I usually use a three. It's got four on it. I usually use a three place for myself. Some people don't like multi-places at all, but if you like them, at least they include it in their kit. And then they give you a boatload of baggies in case you don't have containers to store your diamonds as you're working on them. Um, it's really good to have these uh, to put your diamonds in as you're working on your kit. They give you... Two pieces of heart-shaped wax. There's plastic on both sides of this. So when you open them, you have to peel the plastic off. See? So keep that in mind when you start using them. And uh, here's the pen. And it comes with a blue squishy. Diamond painting is interesting. You could buy all these fancy pens and stuff. And I have those. But if you just buy a Diamond Art Club kit or any kind of kit, it comes with all the tools that you need. So if you don't really have the money and you don't want to splurge on all the extra stuff, that painting should have everything it needs in the kit. You shouldn't have to order a fancy pen or cover minders or any of that stuff. That's extra. That's that's the little bonuses that you get. when If you could afford it, that's fine. But if you're just... um you know, in a place where you can't really afford all the fancy stuff, that's okay. Diamond painting is for everybody and anybody. And if you don't have a lot of money, you could just buy one kit and just make it work, you know? Not everyone has a huge stash, and uh, that's okay. We all do our own thing. Some people are multi craftual so we don't just do diamond painting. Here's the uh, diamond boat that comes with the kit, and it has a funnel on it. 
And on the square drill paintings only, they give you tweezers. These are very sharp, so be careful with the pets and the kids because you could really poke yourself with them. Uh, and they, like I said, these only come in the kits that are square drills. They don't come in round drill paintings because most people who do round drills don't use tweezers. All right, so that's our tool kit. Now let's get into this uh, painting right here. I don't have a very big recording space, so just bear with me. All right. I'll move the painting around so you guys can see the full thing because it is a big painting. All right. I don't have a, a big space, but what I do is I usually roll the painting as I work on it. Diamond Art Club has a self-folding, uh, like, flattening canvas. This material that they use is called tarpaulin, and it's got scalloped edges on it. This helps keep it from fraying at the edges. And it's like usually super soft, like velvety. And uh, that's one of their trademarks for Diamond Art Club. They have a really nice canvas. And then here's the drills. We'll go through those in a few minutes. We'll see what kind of beautiful colors they put in here. And they have a guidebook here. If you've never diamond painted, and, you know, it's also on the back of the box, but they have a little thank you code in here. You should never have to pay full price for a Diamond Art Club kit. There, there are, you know, Facebook groups that have discount codes. Diamond Art Club has their own uh, Facebook group that has discount codes. They got, like, usually sales going on all the time. Sometimes 5, 10, 15, 20% off of their kits. Also, when you buy um, from their site, they give you points. You can use those points. You save them up and you can use them to discount your kits. I mean, I spent... Uh, a couple times I spent over $250 on kits, but once I used my points, it was like 70 or 80 bucks, you know. So, you know, that's that's how you uh, could kind of make it work, the price. The the benefit of Diamond Art Club is one of those companies that pay the artist. All the paintings are licensed artwork. So at least you know that what you're using is actually, you know, something the artist is being paid for. And, uh, you know, you could buy cheaper kits, and I do too. But it feels good to be able to do it the right way and know that the, the artists are being paid. So um, this has a discount code in it and a guide to how to diamond paint if you've never done it. And then they give you this sticker. Isn't it cute? It has a rendering of what the actual painting looks like. And it shows you all the symbols that you'll be using on this kit with the title, the, the artist name. If you use this for your logbook, it's got a start and end date. And you got your information, square drill, round drill, your size right here, 29 by 22. And then this is really interesting. Like the last few months, they've started making this a sticker sheet. So if you use like little drill cases or whatever to store your drills as you're working on them, you can literally just peel these off and stick them on your containers. Which is nice because a lot of us were like using scissors and trying to cut them out. And they listened to the consumer and they made it a sticker sheet. So you just peel these off and stick them on your containers. So it makes it a lot easier. So this painting has 53 colors. And according to this, it looks like there's four ABs. ABs, if you've never had them before, stands for Aurora Borealis which is uh, a, it's a diamond that has an extra coating on it that makes it a little shinier than the rest. I like to think of it like if uh, the sun were hitting a certain area on your landscape painting, like maybe some trees were, you know, like having a nice light to them. Like these ABs are what bring that out. They show like where the extra sparkle would be in the landscape or if it was like a, a girl, like a doll or something, and her eyes might have a little extra shimmer in it. Those are the things that ABs are supposed to be used for. You know, a lot of people like using a lot of ABs, but I just think sometimes having a little sprinkling all over the place gives it a nice little extra sparkle and it highlights certain areas and makes them really stick out. So, you know, I, I like how they usually render these paintings with 
you know, a decent amount of A-B drills, but at least it's not everywhere. It's in certain spots, and it makes the, the certain areas just highlight a little extra. And it also helps the ones around it, uh, the, the A-B drills, shine a little extra. So let's take a look at this canvas. The Diamond Art Canvas, it has a schematic on your right. See, it's got all your symbols on it. And uh, it shows you uh, what the number is, what the, these are uh, DMC codes. Uh, they are also used for like floss and stuff. Uh, so if anybody do cross stitch or embroidery, you're used to the DMC codes. And uh, this will tell you like what the code is for the color and the symbol for the one you're, you're working on. And then they also have one on the top in the corner. So from the top down on your left side, you have another code list right here. So whichever end of the painting you're working on, you can see it. Look how beautiful this painting is. I love landscapes. I like a lot of paintings. I like dragons. I like fantasy stuff. I mean, I like some of the cartoony things. I like dark stuff like uh, Anis Guerrero uh, that Diamond Art Club has licensed. It's kind of darker like warrior girls, survivors, you know, that are powerful to me. But I love landscapes most of all because these are places you think you would love to sit in a chair and just watch the deer or watch the, the water flow. And it's places you'd love to just go visit in a diamond painting. So I love that aspect of landscapes. So you got deer here. You got a beautiful tree with the Christmas ornaments on it. And you got a lot of purple for you purple lovers. The sky has a lot of purple in it. And then if you really look, I don't know if you could see how, how clear these symbols are. Some of the cheaper companies, you hear complaints that they're either not sticky or the symbols are blurry and you can't really, uh, it's hard to see them without a light pad or glasses or a magnifying glass. I use a light pad just because it's good for your eyes. Uh, I like try to not to overstress my eyes because I work on a computer all day, so I don't need to move that along. So I use a light pad and sometimes I use my phone for the flashlight to have an overhead light as well. So I'm super, you know, kind to my eyes because we only get two. So you can see these are very clear symbols. And don't worry. You know, if it doesn't look like amazing right now, but once you put the drills down, this painting comes to life. That's how they all are. I look at a painting and you're like, oh, it's so pixelated, or you don't think the colors are going to look good on it. Just stick the process out. Put the diamonds on the painting, and it is so rewarding as you go to see this painting come to life. They all feel that way. It's something to be proud of. You can either hang them on your wall. Some people just roll them back up and stick them in the box, whatever you decide to do with them. But I just think that these paintings are gorgeous and they're such a high quality. And Diamond Art Club has a money back guarantee. So let's say you're kidding up your painting and you're missing a color. Okay, you could contact their customer service on their website. They also have a Facebook uh, group you can contact customer service. Let them know, hey, I'm missing whatever the number is. I'm missing that. And you could tell them what your order number was when you purchased this. And literally in like five to ten minutes, they send you an email saying the drills are on the way. I think they only relate, replace about eight different colors per painting. But it's still nice to have that extra insurance. Because I know the cheaper painting companies, they don't honor that. If you buy it, it is what it is. You get what you got. And if the painting has rivers or, you know, it, it doesn't stick or the, the canvas is blurry symbols or you're missing colors, there's nothing you really can do about it because once you bought it, that's it. But at least companies like Diamond Art Club are uh, basically like the Rolls Royce of diamond painting companies because they take care of their people. That's why I, I purchase most of my stuff from them. You got their uh, media, social media here, another discount code. And the lower, the lower left corner, you always get the information for the painting as well. If this was like a partial drill, let's say it was just the deer and the tree, then, you know, that would be the only spot you would see in this pasting area and none of the background would show up. But this is a full drill. So from top to bottom, left to right, 
you have diamonds to place. Some are partials and it's just certain spots. So that's how that looks. Let's go and get into these drills. Don't mind the noise. I have dogs and my neighbors have dogs. And uh, it's like a hound dog. He's like a Weimaraner. And he's a puppy. He's bouncing all over upstairs. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pull these drills out. So we can see what kind of colors are in this kit. And let me pull this camera down a little bit. Sorry. I want to make sure that you can see these beautiful colors. All right. All right. Diamond Art Club doesn't put their paint, their drills together by DMC color like it does on the list on the side of the canvas. But they put them by weight order, so the bigger bags of drills of colors will be and one, you know, one train of drills, they call them. And then there'll be other ones that have a little bit of uh, colors because it's they don't have a lot in the painting. So here's our first one. This is number 124. And this is our first AB. It's a beautiful pink. If you really look, can you see the shimmer on it? Like, it shimmers a lot different than a regular drill. Let, let me show you. That you got a green here. This is a regular drill. And then you got these here that have a little extra coating on them that make them sparkle. So that's our first AB. It's a pink. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. So we got 937, we got 211, we got 3823, we got two bags of that, we got 209, we got 739, it's a nice like little light like uh, scrambled eggs <laughs> without any butter in it, 739 we got three bags of that, we got 3837. You got 327. It's like a kind of like a brownish purple. Right there. And then we got 336. It's like a bluish purple. And they got two bags of that. We got 158. 158. You got two bags of 158, and now we got this 3826, 3861. Okay, 126. They're not cheap on the ABs in this kit because sometimes they give you a little bit of a certain color. They gave you two full bags of the pink and two bags of this lilac kind of purple, the 126. You got two bags of that. They were giving them out at a discount. Just everybody get ABs. <laughs> and then here's uh, 340. Let me get the next group. Right. Sorry about the noise. I mean, you can't help it with these bags. They rattle. They make noise. Try my best to not make so much noise. 3864. You got 208. There's 210. There's two bags of 210. That's your 935 right here. You got 3608. 301. 647. It's a minty green. 934 with well, landscapes you get a lot of nice greens and pinks and purples and browns 645 3787 3346 you got 
six forty six, nine seventy six, thirty eight fifty three, one fifty five. Uh, I don't know, I haven't mentioned it, but with Diamond Art Club, anything under 150 is a AB drill. So anything like 150, 155, those are not ABs, but anything under that, they're usually like number one, two, three, four, five, whatever number they are at the top of the canvas on your uh, on your guide. Uh, but then like sometimes they'll put one in a different spot, like at the end. So, uh, you know, not always at the top, but usually they are. There's 333. All right. Last one. See, these are the smallest ones. So, you know, these are weight orders. So this one is the last one that has the little stuff. You see, it's not a lot. There's 3371. With landscapes, you tend to get a lot of 3371. It's like a mocha color, very dark brown, almost black. Uh, it's, you know, nature color, you know, wood and, and ground and stuff like that. All right, you got 400. Seven ninety two, five fifty, six six six. It's a bright red. Thirty eight oh one, nine ninety two, six forty, nine thirty eight, eight thirty eight, seven seven nine, three hundred right here. There's a three twenty one. 743, 3814. There you go. There's another AB. This is the 141. 141 they use a lot, especially in winter paintings. It's like snow and anything white to highlight and make it sparkle a little more like the sun's hitting it. There's 606 right here. 993. 123. That's. Oh, sorry, 133. It's an orange, uh, orange AB. They didn't give a whole lot. They usually give you about 20% more than what you'll need for the kit. So no need to, like, be alarmed because uh, sometimes, you know, you'll get some trash that might have, like, little bits on them. And so you can't use them because they'll make your drills pop on your kit. Diamond Art Club always gives you at least 20% more. And if for some reason you ever run out... Like I said, they have a guarantee, so just call them up or call uh, write their customer service and let them know, hey, I'm working on this, and I ran out of 133. And within a few days, they're already in the mail in your house, so not, not a bad deal. All right, last color, 742. All right, this is, again, this is Christmas Deer by Chuck Pinson, and it is a square drill. 29 by 22 and if you go look you can see all the symbols that are in this kit um, One thing to be you know aware of sometimes they'll use symbols like this rectangle and they'll have them like different colors, but rectangles. So if you're working on the canvas right, you know, upside down or on the side, you just have to make sure that the this is the right triangle. They'll have one on the bottom corner, the top corner, different corners. So you just have to like make sure that you're putting the right color. I think that's the only rectangle that they used like that in this kit. But there are older kits where they've used that symbol like three or four times. And uh, if it's different colors, it's not so bad. Maybe it's a green and a purple or a red. You don't get so confused. But if it's a green and then it's a light green and a dark green and a tan, sometimes it gets a little confusing. So just, you know, keep that in mind when you're working on these kits. Some of them that might be a little similar would be the this 934. And this one does like reminds me of rabbit ears on the TV. So that, you know, they're a little bit similar. You can see there might be a little bit of a confusion if you're new to diamond painting. Um, also, a tricky one is uh, these three dots. And and this, like, you know, this um, like little symbol right here with the three triangles. I mean, they kind of look like the same color. So you just have to make sure that you're putting the drill in the right space because we've all done that. Anybody who's diamond painted long enough has put a drill in a place where it didn't belong and then you had to pick them all up and it's kind of a pain. So uh, 
Again, Christmas Deer by Chuck Pinson. I hope you enjoyed this Diamond Art Club unboxing. My name is Linda, and this is Linda's Crafty Life. If you haven't seen my videos, please like, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Have a great day.